Hello and welcome to The Hill. Today's project is all about weed control. This is leafy spurge, an invasive weed in our area. As part of our management plan for getting this weed under control, we're going to be introducing spurge beetles. This is a biological control method where spurge beetles are insect predators for our spurge plants. This is a long-term plan to control this invasive weed that's become increasingly problematic in our area. In just a few moments, I'll get into the details of how spurge beetles help control this invasive weed. But first, we need to head to our spurge beetle site to do some beetle collection. Let's hit the road. Spurge is a very competitive noxious weed in North America. It creates major issues for biodiversity, which is an essential part of healthy landscapes. Diverse plant communities and pastures and rangelands are home to important pollinators, including insects and birds. A healthy plant community also helps support balanced nutrition for livestock and some of our favorite pastured pets. Leafy spurge chokes out the surrounding plants by shading them out, monopolizing the water supply, and even releasing toxins into the soil. Once it takes hold in an area, it can spread quickly if it's not kept in check. When mature spurge plants are disturbed, the seeds can be propelled up to 15 feet. These seeds can live in the soil for up to seven years. It also has incredibly deep roots and can reproduce through horizontal root systems. Long story short, this guy is incredibly successful at duplicating itself. Spurge beetles are collected as adults, usually in early July. Ideal conditions for collecting beetles are warm, sunny days when the beetles tend to be on the top of the spurge plants. Sweep nets are used to collect beetles. You'll need at least 500 beetles to release on a single site. Here are some net techniques. These little guys can climb, jump, and fly, so a sealed container or taped up paper bag is needed to keep them contained. It's best to release them on your spurge patch as quickly as possible after collection, but they can last up to 48 hours in ideal conditions. Be sure to keep them cool during transport. single release point is preferred over scattering them. Your 
relief site should be an area that's not going to be cultivated, mowed, or burned. Add a dense patch of spurge, open your container, and just allow the beetles to make their way out. You'll notice copper and black beetles in our release. Copper beetles do well in moist, sandy sites. Black beetles do well on drier sites, such as southern facing slopes. The adult beetles munch on spurge plants, but the real damage is done by the larvae of the beetles. Females lay their eggs in the soil near the spurge plant, then after the larva hatches, they feed on the roots. This makes the spurge plant more susceptible to disease. This is just one part of our leafy spurge control plant. Other things that can be done include a well-timed mow, chemical control, or grazing by sheep and goats. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new.